And so I'm going to look at the 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 camera and mm -hmm. I'd like you to look at my eyes, okay? And I want you just to focus on my eyes, okay? Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is this. As you focus on my eyes, and maybe you can choose one eye in particular that you want to stay at, it really doesn't matter. In a moment, but not yet, I'm just going to say the word sleep. And I'm going to say the word sleep three times. The first time that I say the word sleep, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to allow yourself to begin to deepen even though your eyes are completely open. But on the inside, you're going to feel yourself relaxing, every muscle, every fiber, every nerve, but your eyes won't close. But what you'll notice when I say the word sleep, you'll notice that your eyes will want to close. Perhaps they might start watering, they might feel a little uncomfortable, but that's perfectly fine. Then, I'm going to say the word sleep again. Now, the second time that I say the word sleep, you are going to find that you physically and mentally will go much deeper, but your eyes will stay open all the same. And so you'll notice a change in your body. And I want you just to want that to happen. And you'll notice a change in your mind, almost like you're becoming fixated and just staring. And you'll notice that your eyes are really wanting to close and you may start blinking. The may water even more. And then the third time I'm going to say the word sleep. When I say the word sleep for the third time, that's when your eyes will close. And as your eyes close, you will allow yourself to go very deep, perhaps deeper than you've been for a long while. And just want that to happen and watch how quickly and how easily it can happen for you. So when we're ready, we'll begin. Sleep. Hello. Excellent. Well done. And take all the time that you need. The longer you hear, the more information you're going to receive. The longer you hear, the more you're going to become aware. Just give me a report as you're here now in this place in between lives. What are you aware of? What's going on? It's not the same place as before. Okay. It's like a bed, almost like a portal. Um, it's linked up to, it's like a star at the end of the bed, sort of an opening, the star's an opening. It's a bit like, um, like a healing bed. Ah, okay. Sort of a med bed type thing. Yeah. There's no one here, just the bed. Okay. And a light, this star is like an opening that's in the shape of a star. Okay. And there's light coming through it. And what's the purpose of you being here? Why have you been brought here to this bed? like a debriefing place, a healing place. Okay. Um, like a temporary place to offload. Okay. There are people here now. Mm-hmm. I say people, beings next to the bed, just sitting there. As though ready to counsel. Hmm. And are they here to counsel you? Yes. Um. 
I don't feel as though it's as though I've had a huge trauma. It feels like I need a um like a, a taking away of some of the like a kind of a cleansing to move on to another level. Okay. It's not as though I've had huge trauma in this lifetime. It's more that I'm ready to move on. Okay. Go and I need to shed some of the things I've been holding on to before I do. Are you aware of what some of these things are that you've been holding on to? guilt mm -hmm. of trying to always um, help others always feeling guilty for not doing enough uh, being kinder to others than to myself as though it's a garment I need to shed, take off. Yeah. And how does the machine work? Does the machine automatically take that off for you? Yeah. It's like a cleansing. It's, it just releases those burdens that I carried around many times. Yeah. Many lifetimes. Uh, it's not as though I've had like the traditional awful traumas. It's more that I've just been carrying like a heavy load. Sure. And let me ask you, is the machine running now as you're there with it? I think they're waiting for me to get on to start it up. Okay. Is that something you would like to do? Yes. Okay, well, why don't you do that? I was a little nervous to get on the bed. What, what are those nerves about? I suppose it's um, a bit like going to a hospital and having to put trust in other people. Sure. As if, um, say, if you're going to have like an anaesthetic or where you know that you're allowing other people to take control. Yeah. But I just know to trust them. It's fine. Hmm. It's not, it's not like the resignation that you have in a hospital where you have to trust people that you don't know. Yeah. It's that they are emanating trust. Mm. I know they're not here to do any harm. So is, is it running? It's, it's lighting up. It's it's almost like it's got coals, flames. Okay. Describe the process. How does it feel in your body? Heat, light, warm, comfortable. Yeah, just like shedding. Yeah. It's like shedding a skin to find out what's really inside. Kind of, I suppose, burning it off, but not in a nasty way. 
Sure. Yeah. And what is on the inside? What's left? What remains? Just love, love for myself. No, um, no burdens of guilt or lack or shame or, um, having to do things I can't think of the word I would say uh, not burdens but responsibilities that kind that's of... it yeah. yeah obligations yeah all of that just gone mm. so then I'm light I'm free free which was always there inside anyway I was just wearing a costume. Yeah. It was just releasing me from the costume, the play, the act, the drama. <laughs> to be the real me again. And being light and free, what does that allow you to do and to be? To have all the time in the world, have no restraints, to just sit and be and not worry, not have to look at a watch, not have to have others' expectations placed on me, mm. just be me, free, present, do nothing, nothing if I want to. That's freedom. Not have to do anything at all and be happy about it. Mm. Yeah. I think it was like a, almost like a, um, I needed to go through a cleansing process to go to the next level. Shed all the skins, the costumes, to be able to go to the next level. Okay. And are those skins and costumes, are they now shed? Has the bed done its work? Yep, they've gone. Okay. So the why people don't... have gone, yeah. They've gone. So why don't you, using your magic belt, why did you go to the next level? Just want that to happen and find yourself there. Let me know when you get there. I'm excited to know what the next mm. level is. It's through the star, through the star window. <laughs> There's just lots of purple. Purple light. It's calm, peaceful. Flowers, flowers, smell of flowers. Um, so it's a beautiful garden, but there's light everywhere. Rays of light, just it's coming from a, a source. There is a center to the light and it's radiating out i can't really see the details i can just sense it smell it hear it sure just using my senses not so much my eyes okay but yeah it's peace and freedom and no time Time is a burden. Mm -hmm. There's no time. There's all the time. <laughs> you just take your time and enjoy that on the inside. And we'll just wait until everything calms down again. Okay.
sorry, bear with me, Brendan. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. okay. Someone's trying to deliver something. <laughs> uh, okay, do you need to go? No. Okay. We have a parcel box. <laughs> okay. So we're in this place of purple light, calm and peaceful, filled with flowers, it's garden. There are rays of light everywhere. And the feeling you get is peace and freedom. No time. Time is, is the burden. Yeah. Not just for me, for everybody, every human, it's the time, time, the worry of time. When it's taken away, it's just beautiful bliss. There's no worries, no cares. It's the time that's the prison and it isn't even real. It's like a, an invisible cage and it doesn't even exist. Mm. When we bend the bars of the cage and escape through and we find that peace and know that there is no aging, there's no death. It was just something we imagined, we created, we went along with mm. and it wasn't real. Mm. And that's the next level is the loss of the burden of time. Mm. And it's everything and it's perfect and it's all that is, everything that is. And it was there all along. We just couldn't see it through the prison bars. Mm. Okay. Very profound realization, isn't it? Hmm. And it's what has kept me a prisoner for much of my life. Mm -hmm. The burden of time. For different reasons at different stages. When I was younger, I worried about dying. Now I'm older, I don't worry about it. But I still have the expectations of other people with time. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like a watch is a bed and a clock is... I'd just love to smash them all up. <laughs> <laughs> Just have none of it. Yeah. Makes sense. So what I'd like to do here, because this seems like a very beautiful place and certainly a place where you're getting a lot of realizations and a lot of understandings. What I'd like to do, if it's okay with you, is I'd like you to invite your higher self to come to this place so that you can talk. Is that okay? They're here anyway. Okay, beautiful. So I'd like you just to ask them for the permission for us to open up a dialogue with them. Just let me know what they say. It's fine. Yeah, excellent. They're happy to help. Brilliant. And so what I'd like you to do, Vicky, if you will, is just step to one side and leave space for, for them to come into you, inside of you, and then speak through you. And then so from now, I'll talk directly to the higher selves. And I'm assuming that there's more than one because Vicky said them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're here because Vicky... Vicky has some questions, and although they're not definitive questions, it's more a very a general idea of where she is, what she's currently doing in her life, and perhaps where that's going to lead her. So what she's aware of, and one thing that she's mentioned a number of times, is that 
she she wants to do things that that challenge her that scare her so that she can expand on who she is where do you see her at the moment and what advice would you give her regarding that the horses are just a way of her challenging herself we used it because it's something that she's been very familiar with in many lives so we use that because although in one respect she finds it frightening, there's also a familiarity to it. She does have a natural ability here that has been carried over from past lives and yet in this current life she has no ability there. And so there is the duality of the knowing and the not knowing. There's the fear and then the absolute knowing. And we use these creatures because they are large, powerful and yet gentle. And their power, combined with the gentleness, offers a confusion, <laughs> a room, a space for fear, but also a space to grow and to overcome that fear. And she has two horses and they are very different. And they will teach her different lessons. One needs her more, needs to be loved by her. The other does not need her love, but offers partnership, but only when the lessons have been learned. And there are many lessons to learn. And that is the reason that the horses came into her life suddenly because it was time, time for her to face challenges. She had spent much of her life playing it safe. And this has been the time of change and she has made many changes. And she has done well. We are pleased with what she is doing, but she still has fear. And she is overcoming it, but sometimes she chooses not to. And she steps back for a day through fear and puts pressure on herself to do it the next day and the next day. And that is why she finds herself where she is. The horses are a metaphor, a metaphor for her facing her fear and her challenges. And they were the best creature for the job. That is all. Okay. Beautiful. So you mentioned um, about you being happy where Vicky is. Where do you see Vicky now? Where is she at the moment? At what stage? She is still in the growth and the learning stage and she does learn many things. She's always learning and that's what we are pleased with. She does not rest from her learning and her growth. And most of the time she does things with a good heart and with kindness. But she still has much to learn. There is still judgment there, although she is working hard 
to try and stop that, to grow through it, to learn. We are pleased with what she is doing. She is working hard every every moment to try and accomplish her wanting to help others and also to help herself. She has more love for herself than she ever has before. This is good. So we are pleased. Excellent. Beautiful. I know that um, there are only certain things that you can share with Vicky and that some things are not not to be shared until they're to be experienced. But what do you see on, on Vicky's path going forward? Where is she going to get to? She thinks she would like to go somewhere quiet, <laughs> away from it all, and be peaceful. And she hates the word retire, <laughs> but we will use it because that's what she thinks she wants. But there are other plans for her. She has a word to get out there. She is a teacher and it's not time for her to stop that yet. But she might just need to find other avenues to get the message out. She has a message to get out. We channel through her, we use her to help others get the message out to others. It's not time for her to stop yet, even if she thinks it is. It's not time yet. Okay. And can I ask you what that message is that she has to get out? What does it involve? She is a healer. She has always been a healer. It's a simple message, simplifying, simplifying how the body works, simplifying how the mind works, simplifying the spreading of love, kindness, community. The healing through taking away rather than adding, simplifying. Dare I say logic? That is her message. She does it now, but she will do it on a bigger scale. She will. She will. Her voice will get louder. And it will be heard by more people. Lovely. <laughs> And just to, to bring this to a close for the moment, what does Vicky need to know and to hear right now from you? Let it flow. Stop trying so hard. Be present, stop regretting things you have not done. If you need peace, rest, take it. You're starting to worry less about what others think or say. You know that it does not affect you. But you also need to look after yourself better with rest. Stop the pressure. Take more time 
for yourself. More peace, more time now, rather than thinking that it will come to you in the future and working towards it. Take it now. Enjoy your time. Spend time alone, spend time with those you love. Take time. Don't let time be your prisoner. That is all. Beautiful. Okay. So, on behalf of Vicky and myself, I'd like to thank you for sharing this beautiful information. And for the moment, I would ask you to withdraw from Vicky and allow Vicky to come back into the physical. And so, Vicky, what I'm going to ask you to do now is just take a moment to thank your higher self and to say your adios, even though you know the higher self is constantly with you. But you do that now. Let me know when that's done. It's done. Okay. Excellent. And so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just withdraw from that place, knowing that that's somewhere that you're going to come back to, that other level. And I'd like you just to find yourself in a, a neutral place, a place of calmness and peace. And just relax. Make yourself very comfortable. I'm just going to talk to you for a little bit. And you don't really need to listen to the words that I'm saying, because I'm talking to the other mind. You've had a lot of interesting experiences here, a lot of wonderful advice. You've shedded that mask, that costume, and you've discovered who the you is within that, which is just light and peace, light and freedom. You've discovered the importance of time in your life. For the better and for the worse, you've discovered what time has been doing and doing to others too, which is making them a prisoner. And you've discovered that all we need to do is just bend those bars and escape the prison of time. Because in reality, there is no time. You've understood now why it is that you've been drawn to work with horses. And that horses, even though they are very much a reality in this existence, are really a metaphor for you, to help you, to allow you to overcome fear and move into love. Your higher self is very aware that you're somebody who's always learning and, and you're in this growth phase. And that's very evident in the way when we talk to you and you talk about, you know, the amount of books that you've got, that you're still working your way through. It's clear that this is the time for you to take on board the information. And now we know why. Now we know why you have such a thirst for the information. Because, as your higher self said, there is a job that you have to do. There's a role that you have to do. There's a voice that's going to get louder and it'll be heard. And of course, it makes absolute sense that if your message is about health, healing, and simplifying how the body and the mind can heal 
of course you're going to need all of the information that you can get. The more you've got in your toolbox, the better the healer you're going to be. And even though the healing is through less, not more, through simplifying, not complicating, what it's like is the the guru who ends up realizing that he knows nothing by way of knowing many, many things. And that's a process that you're in. And so the advice that was given to you and that you heard and that you can take on the inside is just to let it flow. You know, there's nothing that happens by chance in this life. And there's not much that we can do to stop the plan. We've got to do something pretty radical to stop the plan, no matter what other plans we might make. Plans of retirement, plans of getting calm, slowing it down. There's still a plan there. And so all you need to do is let it flow. And remember that you don't need to work hard for your life plan to flow. In fact, it's quite the opposite. In fact, it's exactly as you mentioned, which is simplifying it. Doing more by doing less. And so just be present, Vicky. Forget those regrets about the things that you haven't done and focus on what you have done. Focus on what you have achieved. Worry less about the opinion of other people and value and love the opinion that you have because that's the only one that matters. That's the only one that you take to bed at night and you get up with in the morning your opinion of you. And take more time. Don't let them take your time. Don't let them put you inside of that prison. You take your time. It was yours. It was given to you. It's the gift. Just work on being in peace now, enjoying your time alone, enjoying your time with loved ones. And be free. Freedom is something we're born with and we get tricked into thinking that we haven't got it. And of course we have. And so there's everything now. Everything is on the table. Everything is laid out. There's a path. And all you need to do now is just allow yourself to be walked through the path, to be danced along the path. You don't need to work so hard. Let it flow. Let yourself just be. And that's enough. That's all that you need. The rest will come. The rest will be gifted. The rest will be given. All you have to do is be present. Show up. And so... Knowing all of that and feeling all of that, Vicky, and understanding the amount of help that you have, not just from the beings around you, not just from the people who love you, but from the very person that you are, you have a tremendous strength, a tremendous inner strength. And all you need to do is allow that strength to have full voice, Let it be and let yourself be. 
the very essence of who you are and nothing can stop you. Just like a snow plow pushing through a street that's filled with snow and just opening up a pathway. Unstoppable. People and horses flying to one side as you push your way up the street. Unstoppable. And so, Vicky. Taking all of that and understanding that as the days and the weeks pass, more information will come to you and more understanding of where you are and where you're going will come to you. Little bursts of light bulb moments. But for the moment, I'm going to ask you to gently bring yourself back, back into the chair where you started, back into this moment, but bringing with you this feeling, bringing with you the garden. And gently allow yourself to come back when you're ready, feeling wonderful and feeling ready to start again this journey. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> yeah, that was powerful. Beautiful, that. Yeah, some beautiful stuff coming through. It was very powerful, actually. Yeah. What, mm. was the, what were the What are the tears? I don't know. I think my eyes were watching when you sent me down there. <laughs> they've just been like that the whole time okay. waiting to come out yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. as i open my eyes they just fell out okay. <laughs> no the, i i think um yeah there was just there was loads there the time that is my prisoner that's what i struggle with i don't know if you find it but i'm always like this like oh my god how much time have i got and and that's what people put on me is the time, you know, and I, I, I am doing what I want to do. You know, I've got my horses, I've got my animals. I'm only working in the mornings now, um, apart from one evening, but I'm still rushing all the time. Sure. And I hate it. I, have, I shouldn't say the word hate, but I hate it. I hate being a prisoner of time. I really do. Sure. sure. Yeah. So, and part of my, me being a prisoner of time is me worrying about stuff because I'm spending time worrying that I haven't got enough time to do stuff. Whereas if I stop worrying about it, I'll probably have more time. <laughs> that, that never it's ending loop that, that we get into. It's the worry. It's the worrying all the time that you're not doing it right. That you, you know, I mean, the thing with the horses is it, like I was saying, yeah, okay, I've got an expertise from an old life, but I have absolutely no expertise in it in this life. And I'm surrounded by people who have heaps of expertise and I feel like a newborn baby in that world, sure. which is good because I... And the other thing is that if you do put this out and there are any horsey people on there, they'll hate me for this. It's a strange world. The horse world is very strange and they're so set in their ways about how they treat animals and it's coming from culty. outside. Is it, bit, is it a bit culty? Yeah, it's culty, but it's also they're, they're not actually very kind to the horses that they spend heaps of money on and claim to love. You know, some of the ways that these horses are being looked after. As a person that has not been in the horsey world, I haven't been brought up in that cult, like you say, that cult. I look at it and think, oh my goodness, why are you doing that? And no one's doing that with mine, you know? And yeah. they're like, well, you have to, because that's what everyone does. And I say, no, not mine. <laughs> I'm going to be kind to mine. They're like, you can't be kind to them. They're wild animals and they could run you over and kill you. I'm like, yeah, but they're, they're like creatures. They have a heart and a, a mind and they know what they want. And they're not just there to be used by us. So yeah, that that's interesting. What you know, the newbie side of it, the to the old ability. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lots of process, like you said. Mm. Mm. So yeah, car, blimey. 
<laughs> yeah, the time one was a biggie. It was weird though, because I thought when I was going to go back, I thought I was going to go back to exactly that same place I went to before and it was completely different. And I was looking for it. Like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's this? This bed with a star. What's that all about? <laughs> it it did make sense. Isn't it interesting though, you know, when, because you would assume that, uh, well, you, 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 you know, people would say, well, you're going to go back to the same place because that's what you expected, you know, and you're just inventing mm. it in your mind. But then suddenly you're presented with something that has nothing to do with anything. No, and I'm like almost trying to push it away. Like, no, that's not the bit I wanted. I'm not looking for that <laughs> bit. Go away. And it kept coming back again. Sure. And like when you said about what's it like on the other side, I was like, actually, there's not very much there. There's some flowers. <laughs> but actually, that's perfect. But it's yeah. like, there's nothing else. Do I need anything else? No, I'm quite happy. <laughs> I th I personally, I think we're in the all singing, all dancing uh, dimension. I think this yeah. is the busiest dimension, you know, beyond I that. I think it must be. Yeah. I know, and because we're so in, so trained that it's got to be like that. It's got to be everything everywhere. Like my room is filled outside. There's heaps of people. It has to be like that. Actually, it doesn't. No. No. And but... I think more and more of us are becoming happier when we do take ourselves away, like move away as much as we can. Uh, it's okay. also very interesting about it. My higher self bringing me away from my bloody dream about France again. <laughs> no, I know it was smirking. It was smirking as it what said. Heck? Leave me to go there and have some peace. <laughs> True. Stop making me do stuff. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It, I didn't hear it say you're not going to go to France. I didn't hear it say. No. But it was like you know don't think that's the end of it i think you know exactly and i mean you live in spain and you still see people and you still deal with people all over the world i could go anywhere i liked you Absolutely. know i mean i've been see i've been reading and watching podcasts and things about people who literally run their business from like costa rica or goodness knows where and they're still ever present in Absolutely. the world and, Where, uh, but they're living in paradise exactly and you know my my friend who who now is a is a um, a, a van family that they travel around. He's bought the Starlink thing, so he's got internet, really high internet all oh. the time. You know, so as long as you've got an internet connection and you, the work that you do, that's it. Doesn't matter where. No, it's at. perfect, isn't it? Yeah, but it's I'm just not, not retiring. Yeah. You're not retiring. I'm not. Well, I refuse to use the word retire, which is why I, I was chuckling when they were saying about retire because they were winding me up because I would always say I'm not. I'm never going to retire because retire means death. <laughs> exactly. It's got the word tire in it. It's got the word tire. Exactly. And I do not want to tire in this life. I no, wanna... exactly. And also, the word retire is like. It, it just sounds like expire. <laughs> it, it retire, expire, it's it linked to retreat, coming yeah. away from, no way. Exactly. Wow. Like, and the re bit is like, <laughs> sort of taking away, isn't it? Not doing that. No, yeah. no. You're not only no. going to tire, but you're going to retire as well. <laughs> yeah, do it over and over and over Double. again. <laughs> <laughs> no, not doing that. No, I refuse to do that. Sure. So, yeah. But no, if I can do it from wherever I like, then that's fine. If I don't have to stay in one place to do it, then yeah. Um, well, I've found, what I've found since I've moved away and live in the country and where it's calm, that my energy levels are much better. Mm. And so I can actually achieve a lot more because I've got such a calm setting. And that, yeah. you know, I'm, not, I'm not worried about time, you know. If I, I took yeah. my watch off. I took my watch off for... Uh, like five years, I, I I put a watch back on purely yeah. because it's a, for when I run and I measure my yeah. my steps. But other than that, I, I I'm not interested in time. I have to take it off when I meditate. There's something about it, or if I do yoga, I can't have my watch on. I have to take it off. It's like it's restraining, or like it's a burning, or something. I ca I can't have my watch on. Yeah. So that just goes yeah and i even nearly put it in the washing machine the other day because i took it off <laughs> and i couldn't find it it's like oh no <laughs> that'd be the end of that yeah. um but yeah it yeah i that's what i need is i need to get away from the busy and i can still do stuff but i just i need there's a lot of distractions here as you could hear <laughs> always 
Oh my goodness. I mean, there were like lorries going past. There was someone's car alarm going off. My Someone trying to, literally, the bloke that was trying to deliver, because I got my window open, was standing at my window going, hello, hello. And I thought, I'm not going to open my eyes. <laughs> the, good away. Thing, the good thing about Zoom is that it cuts a lot of the excess noise out. Oh, that's but good. I only heard, you know, his voice. I heard a knock at the door. But other than that, the noises in the, the, the trucks going by, it cuts it all out, so it's really good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that is good. But that's what that's what it's like here. And it's and someone's like building over there somewhere, so I could knock, knock, knock. But it doesn't detract for me. Good. Not when I'm in hypnosis, but it does a little bit in everyday life. For sure, for sure yes. It's it's noise pollution. It's you know, it is. Yeah. And you know that I'm auditory. Absolutely. So you know, all of that is like it's like brain you know like someone doing that on your head it's like get out of my head absolutely, absolutely. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I fully understand that yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yes, no, that was brilliant time. yeah okay vicky well i think i, I need i I'm need to head off that was beautiful yeah, thank you Me very too. much for that I've got, really... I've got horses that need feeding <laughs> well they'll need... trample me <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll trample you yeah you'll be yeah. very careful be very, yeah. Don't get in between them, okay? Never no, I don't. And now I've learned my lesson with a broken toe, yeah. <laughs> All right, Vicky. Okay, super. So um, I'll uh, I'll edit these down a bit, okay? And then yeah, if you're comfortable, I'll, I'll post them two separate things, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. And thank you. And hopefully that was helpful for you as well. I tell you what, that talk down you did with the eyes, that was very powerful. Was it? As soon as you said, focus on one eye, I was already doing it before yeah. you said it, but only a split second before you said it. But I was like, oh, Gordon's eye looks really big. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit different, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit different. No, it's really good. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. I don't know whether I'd be able to do it because I'd have to try not to laugh. Because <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't work. Did you notice that, you know, because I was obviously suggesting that the eyes yes. were going to want to close and they were going to And I knew watering. by the time you said third it was going to happen anyway but I could also and then I was trying because part of me my brain was trying to work it out and I was like am I supposed to just shut my eyes when he's talking about the third time because I was almost there anyway so and I was like yeah is he gonna say and now you're you know down there I was trying to work it out a little bit in like a hypnosis you know sure, yeah, um, yeah, guided you know how is this working so uh, yeah but yeah no it was really good it's very powerful yeah. I felt like I was going through all the parts of my body like going through like veins and stuff really all right yeah it was very powerful cool yeah it's good all right. Like okay. So uh, we'll talk again and we'll do, we'll do, let's do something in the future again. Yeah, definitely. No, I'm up for that. I can always do a fixing. <laughs> okay. All right, Vicky. Take care now.